Hilda Beatrice Hewlett was an early aviator and aviation entrepreneur. She was the first British woman to earn a pilot's license. She founded and ran two related businesses, the first flying school in the United Kingdom, and a successful aircraft manufacturing business which produced more than 800 aeroplanes and employed up to 700 people. She later emigrated to New Zealand. Hilda Beatrice Hewlett was born in Vauxhall, London on February 17, 1864 to Louisa Herbert Nay Hopgood and George William Herbert, a Church of England vicar. Hilda was one of nine siblings and was known as Billy by the family. As a young woman she attended the National Art Training School in South Kensington. She specialized in three skills which served her well in her later aviation engineering career, woodwork, metalwork, and needlework. Her art was good enough to be exhibited. When she was 19 she visited Egypt with her parents where I woke up from a narrow, conventional, stultifying childhood and first thought for myself. At the age of 21 she spent a year training as a nurse at a hospital in Berlin. She married barrister and writer Maurice Henry Hewlett on January 3, 1888 in St. Peter's Church, Vauxhall, where her father was the incumbent. The couple had two children, a daughter, Pia, and a son, Francis, but separated in 1914. Maurice Hewlett was unsympathetic to his wife's involvement in aviation and claimed, women will never be as successful in aviation as men. They have not the right kind of nerve. Hilda Hewlett was an early bicycle and motor car enthusiast. The family acquired a car and Hilda learned to drive, and was fined for speeding in May and June 1905 but was considered proficient behind the wheel. She participated in automobile rallies Hewlett attended her first aviation meeting at Blackpool in 1909. Later that year, after adopting the pseudonym Grace Bird, she traveled to the airfield at Mermelon Le Grand, France, to study aeronautics. She met aviation engineer Gustave Blindeau and they became business partners. Hewlett returned to England with a Farman 3 biplane, nicknamed the Bluebird. In the summer of 1910 she and Blindo opened the first flying school in the United Kingdom at the Brooklands Motor Racing Circuit at Weybridge, Surrey. Many people gained their first experience of flying at Hewlett and Blindo School, including Thomas Sopwith. Thirteen pupils graduated from the school in the year and a half it operated and, with a remarkable safety record for the time, there were no accidents. On August 29, 1911, at Brooklands, Hilda Hewlett became the first woman in the UK to earn a pilot's license when she received Certificate No. 122 from the Royal Aero Club after completing the test in her biplane. Hewlett also taught her son, Francis, to fly. He earned pilot's Certificate No. 156 on November 14, 1911 and went on to have a distinguished military aviation career in both the UK and New Zealand making him the first military pilot taught to fly by his mother. He earned a distinguished service order in 1915 and rose to the rank of group captain. Hilda Hewlett participated in airshows and aviation competitions. On September 11, 1911 she flew her Farman biplane in an airshow at Chelsea Meadow, Plymouth. In 1912 Hewlett won a quick start aviation competition. Hewlett and Blindo started an aircraft manufacturing business, Hewlett and Blindo Limited, which was managed by Hewlett. They built Farman, Cowdron and Henriette aircraft under license. The business began at Brooklands, moved to Battersea, London, and finally settled on a 10-acre site at Leegrave, Bedfordshire, in May 1914. By August 1914 the company had produced 10 different types of aircraft. During the First World War, Hewlett's company manufactured more than 800 military aircraft, a specialized 90-horsepower engine which the British government considered vital to the war effort, and employed up to 700 people. After the war the business diversified into making farming equipment, but the factory had closed by the end of October 1920. The site remained unsold until 1926. A road in Luton, Hewlett Road, was named after her in recognition of the importance of the company towards the war effort. Hewlett had previously spent nine months touring New Zealand, Rarotonga, and the United States, but it was not until the factory site was sold that she emigrated to Tauranga, New Zealand, with her daughter Pia Richards and Pia's family. Hilda stated, the urge to escape from the three seas, crowds, convention, and civilization, became strong. She enjoyed the outdoor life, especially camping and fishing. Her family gave her the nickname Old Bird. In June 1932 Hewlett was present at the inaugural meeting of the Toronga Aero and Gliding Club. In July she was elected as the club's first president. In January 1939, at the opening of a new aerodrome in Toronga, 
Frederick Jones, New Zealand's then Minister of Defence, named a nearby road after Hilda Hewlett and her son Francis, in recognition of their services to aviation. Hewlett died on August 21, 1943 in Tauranga, North Island, New Zealand. Following a service on the railway wharf, she was buried at sea. Her grandson's wife Gail has carried out exhaustive research into the lives of both Hilda and Maurice Hewlett and recently published the results of this work. The book was officially launched on April 26, 2010 at St. Peter's Church in Vauxhall, London. Thanks for watching.